Report released on Tuesday by the National Bureau of Statistics showed that consumer price index, which measures inflation, inflation increased by 12.26% year-on-year in March 2020. This is 0.06% points higher than the rate recorded in February 2020 at 12.20%. One month on month basis, the headline index increased by 0.84% in March 2020, which is 0.05% higher than the rate recorded in February 2020. I am now joined by Chinwe Egwim, economist at FBN Quest Merchant Bank. Thank you for joining us this evening on News on the Hour. You're welcome. MBS report for consumer price index showed a marginal increase in inflation, moving from 12.20% to 12.26% increase. Let's get your view on the report. Okay, so yeah, the uptick in the headline rate was expected. Food inflation also recorded an increase, and this was not um, surprising. Towards the latter part of March, there were supply chain disruptions on the back of lockdowns and social dis distancing triggered by the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the highest increases were mainly seen in staple food items, now, on a year-on-year -year basis, imported food price inflation rose to 16.2% from 16.1% recorded in the previous month. And the past three effects of the exchange rate realignment, which happened um, a few weeks back on imported food price inflation, could be reflected in the next few inflation reports that will be released or when import activities pick up, pending when the current uh, restrictions are lifted. As for the core inflation rate, it's increased by about 30 basis points, and the highest increases in the core inflation were recorded in pharmaceutical products, hospital services, uh, passenger by air. So um, I'm sure the latter, which I just mentioned, was pre-lockdown that, that was reported. Now, at the time, we know the lockdown had not taken effect in Abuja, Lagos, and Ogun. What projections do you have for inflation in April, considering current economic situation? Uh, well, the month-on-month -month headline rate increased to 0.84%, right? So, on the assumption that the month-on-month -month inflation is below 1% for next month, and considering other elements within the inflation basket, we expect the headline rate to slow down marginally to 12.1%. But please note that this slowdown is particularly due to positive base effects. Now, subsequent inflation reports could show acceleration due to cost-push inflationary pressure on the back of supply chain disruptions triggered by the ongoing health crisis. In your opinion, how do you think this will affect those at the lower end of the pyramid? Uh, well, the past three effects of an uptick is usually felt quicker than that of a slowdown. That said, the movement in the inflation rate for March isn't alarming. However, it remains at double digits. Uh, middle income earners are feeding pocket pinches, so you can imagine what the lower income earners will be going through. There are a handful of relief packages that are being given by both um, government and private sector. And with these should provide or assist with providing respite for some of, of those in the low in lower income um, brackets. So I also reckon that businesses should also take the report seriously as it affects them also, isn't it? Yes, of course. Um, tracking economic data is always important. And as a business, when operating in a high inflation environment, as what we're seeing here, we have our inflation at double digit rates, right? Yes. I always say business owners should look to reduce debt, optimize business efficiency, and rethink suppliers. Chinwe Egwim, thank you for your time and for joining us on News on the Hour.